Police recently said a gunman killed two teens in Northwest D.C. with a rifle. And earlier this month, a man was gunned down by a suspect with an assault style weapon in Southeast. How are these guns coming into our neighborhoods? Do something about guns. Mayor Bowser continues to say D.C. has an illegal gun problem, leading to dozens of shootings and murders because they're easily accessible. It's a point she's even taking to the campaign trail with Mike Bloomberg. We can't stop illegal crime guns from coming coming across our borders. So how bad is this problem in D.C.? Get this, in the last week alone, just one week, officers in MPD's gun recovery unit took nearly 40 illegal firearms from people who shouldn't have them, including six teenagers. The youngest person arrested, 15 years old. Now, just as many guns were seized the week before. Most are handguns, but officers are also taking rifles and those so-called ghost guns. It's, it's a weapon that can't be traced, so we can't trace the weapon back to its original source. Police found more than 1,000 firearms in D.C. last year. In 2018, nearly 2,000. And the year before, close to 2,200. Officers tell me crooks are stashing these guns in vacant buildings, bushes, and even abandoned cars. And police are still offering a $2,500 reward to anyone who can point them to an illegal gun hidden in D.C. I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.